Hey y'all, it's Sam with Team Gideon. Hi, it's Evelyn with Team Gideon. This is Spencer with Team Gideon. It's Madeline from Team Gideon in York County. Hey y'all, it's Ian with Team Gideon. We're here on my porch social distancing with Henry. Just wanted to take a second to share why I'm practicing social distancing. It's so simple, it's so easy to do, and our essential workers are relying on us to do so. I stay home to flatten the curve and make sure that we are doing the most to protect those that are most vulnerable. Stay home for my grandma to make sure she stays healthy. I'm really grateful for healthcare workers who are putting themselves at risk right now uh, to take care of everyone else during this crisis, and I wanna make their jobs easier by staying home. I'm staying home to say thank you and to help protect our letter carriers and our post office workers. My mom has lupus, she's immunocompromised. I can't risk getting myself sick and then getting her sick. I'm staying home because I'm lucky enough to be able to and it's the responsible and correct thing to do. I'm staying at home and practicing social distancing for my grandma. To the grocery store workers who I rely on and to the line people who brought power to my house the other day, we owe it to you to stay home. I stay home because I have parents who are older, they have to a really bad outcome with coronavirus. I'm staying inside to save lives and hold out hope that we can experience as much of our main summer as possible. I'm staying home for family members with pre-existing conditions. Join it for people like my mom who has diabetes and my dad with COPD. The reason why I'm staying home is to flatten the curve and to protect my friends and family. I'm staying home for my 90-year-old grandmother who I've lived with my whole life. I am staying home because it's something that I can take into my own hands. It's a very actionable thing and it's something that um, is truly helping the community around me. Really important that we continue to stay at home and follow the CDC's guidelines. We're all in this together. We're all on the same team. If we're gonna flatten the curve, and truly beat this pandemic, then we all need to do our part, which is as simple as just staying at home.